This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, their Data Tools Unit, Lesson 10, Reading Records, Puzzle 9, Contacts App. Loading your contacts from the database. So hopefully you have all your contacts up built, otherwise you need to go back and do the last several lessons. Uh, the way you left your contacts app in the last lesson, your app had stored data in a remote database. Yes, it has. But uh right? But could not read it back. Yeah, we only know it's there, right? We can add data to that database and that, but it doesn't show back up in, when we're going through our contacts. Now that you know how to use read record, you will be able to read the data into your app at the start of the program. Rather than constructing and adding objects one by one to the contact array, you can simply get the array of records from the database and use that as a global variable, which means we declare it outside of any function. Uh, so we can access it by all functions. So kind of at the top of the program usually. So as a global variable in your app. Let's do it. Okay. Your app from contacts app is provided. Your code. Okay. Go to the data viewer for your app and confirm that your contact data was stored there. And I already did. It is Yahoo. Remove any code from your program that constructs an object for a contact. Contact one, contact two, contact three. Got it. So that's for me. And then the append and the council log. All of that will throw a bug if we have nothing. But ah, get rid of all that. Okay. Oh, so much code though. Drag out read records command and place it after the command contacts. Oh, did I get rid of? Where do I declare it? Ah. That I do need. I'll just rewrite it, I guess var contacts and then boom 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 all right now let's go to blocks let's do read records after contacts okay in the callback function of read records contacts equals set contacts equal to records So we're creating a new, oh, so we're, we're declaring contacts outside of this function so all functions can access contacts. So this function, which is our, um, well, it's run by our red records function on return of some information, uh, is changing up contacts. It's making contacts equal to the records that are returned by the database. And then all of these can use the contacts array which is really now just the records uh, to change and show and add. So we did that. Got that. Show current. OK. Oh, we're calling our show current contact function, which we wrote a while ago. So show current contact. Did I name mine that? Do I need it here then? Oh yeah, upon launch maybe. Yep. All right, let's uh, check it out. Let's see what's going on. All right, so I think a few possibilities. Let's get rid of this. We don't need that out of the function. Cleaning up and then Oh, my table. I don't have a my table. My data is called my contacts. All right. My my contacts. Our data should both be called my contacts. And yeah, let's try this now. Bob never had a picture, so that's okay. But uh but uh but uh yes. Happiest day of my life. You see how successful we were? I'm proud of us. Go us. <laughs> um, all right, let me double check. So we got that. We got that. Yep. Yep. And why is contacts global? And I said this earlier, but it's it's declared out here. 
So we're making the array at the top outside of all functions, and that way any function can grab it, can edit it. It's somewhat risky in programs, honestly, but right now it's good um, for learning. And then we can make changes to it. So once read my contact, so this is right at the top of our code, hey program, read my contacts. So it asks the server for my contacts. And then when the server re returns or the it returns the contacts in an array, we take that array and say it's called records. And then we say, okay, contacts now equals instead of an empty array, the array of records. So records become contacts becomes equal to records. And then we say show current contact. And then everyone else can access the records because we declare contacts up here. And so all the other stuff works as normal. Friend 2 is not actually a computer. Well, maybe the, uh, she is. She's a really nice computer. Awesome. Let's, uh, yeah, let's keep going.